we mentioned that we're expanding the footprint here in Las Vegas with the Performance Institute and now building this this new uh, campus, really. Yeah. But we've also got this Performance Institute opening in Shanghai that's going to be massive and really important over there. I know you want to open, I think, three in Mexico, one in Puerto Rico. Yeah. How important is the Performance Institute to the growth of MMA and the UFC globally? Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's incredible and it's very important. Think about the PI in, in, in China that we're opening right now. It'll open this summer. It's three times bigger than the one here, and the one here is massive. Yeah. I'm going to do three in Mexico, which will be smaller pop-up type ones, um, and I'm going to do one in Puerto Rico. And then I'm going to figure out how those do. We're going to look at them and, and assess how, how it does, which I'm assuming it's going to be incredible, f you know, for, for the talented up-and-coming fighters in Mexico and Puerto Rico, yeah. and then I'm going to start picking off other parts of the world where we'll build performance institutes too. And here's the thing, if you look at um, football, like my kids played football, you know, from a young age, they can get into uh, flag football, then they get into Pop Warner, or whatever you want to call it, and then they play high school football. The goal is always to get to high school, and then the, ki the kids that are good enough then go to college, and then the college kids, if they're good enough, they want to go to the NFL. There's never been anything like that for fighting. So what's starting to happen now is, and let's say you're in some country somewhere and you want to become a mixed martial artist. Well, first of all, you'd have to go find a jujitsu coach, a striking coach, a wrestling coach, and it, it's very tough to do. Right. In these countries, as we continue to pop up these performance institutes, kids go there for free. You go there for free, you train for free, you get everything for free. So what it's going to do is it's going to start creating mixed martial artists in countries that it couldn't happen in before. And this doesn't just help the UFC. It helps every organization out there. Yeah. Because kids have to start out somewhere. So there's probably a local promotion out there that they would start training in and fighting in and, and work their way up and someday get to the UFC. But, um, you know, opening these institutes, tide rises everywhere and it works for everybody, not just us. It helps the sport overall. Absolutely, and new stars can emerge. And that's a topic that we hear a lot of people uh, mention often. Oh, uh, well, old stars are retiring. There's going to be no one that can fill the void of, of this you, former star. You can't listen to any of these people. These people know nothing about this business. This sport is not even 20 years old yet. These guys don't even know what's going on. These guys have no clue what we're working on for the next seven years. I mean, you, you never really know if somebody's gonna be a big star, but there's never a shortage of up and coming talent. I could go on for days, you know, with up and coming people. Peter Yan, um, Sugar Sean O'Malley, who's been out for a while and been hurt, and I'm excited for him to get back. Uh, Ricky Simone, you got uh, Kron Gracie, who just looked incredible uh, on his uh, debut on ESPN. Um, Roosevelt Roberts from the Contender Series, who I'm super excited about. I love this kid's story, Jeff Neal, and, you know, Ben Askren just came in, a veteran who's been around for a long time, sure. but hasn't been in the UFC. Right. Coming off an incredible, controversial, fun fight in his first fight in the UFC against ruthless Robbie Lawler. You got Macy Barber coming up, who, who this girl, I love the way she talks. When I say talks, I love the way she texts me and the crazy stuff she says to me. She wants to be a world champion. She plans, you know, I love these type of things and these type of people. Zabit who just came off a, 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 a big win, yeah. um, you know, as, as the main event. Israel Adesanya, who's gonna fight for the for the uh, interim title here soon. Marlon Marias, uh, and I could go on. I mean, I could go on for days and keep talking about up and coming talent that are either gonna become big stars or become staples in, in the top 10, uh, you know, in the sport and, and, and people that people, fighters that people love to tune in and watch fight.